Rod, tell us what you guys are doing specifically. Well, GlassPoint is the leader in solar for the oil and gas industry. Uh, most people don't realize, I think, just how large the energy consumption of the energy industry is. In fact, it's about 10% of global oil and gas production is consumed by the oil and gas industry itself. So that's roughly 9 million barrels of oil equivalent per day. That's the oil consumption of, say, Western Europe or all of the energy used in residential power in North America, just to give you a sense of scale. It's a lot. It's a lot. Huge. Rod, one of the reasons, though, is, is because the oil's there, they can use it. The gas is there, they might be burning it off and can use it, and it's cheaper for them to use it there, environmental concerns certainly aside. What has happened with solar such that you've been able to bring the cost down low enough that the oil and gas companies, who have oil and gas coming out of the ground right there, find that building a solar array is cheaper than actually using the oil and gas that they've got right there in the ground? That's exactly right. If you have a source of energy locally which is lower cost than the product you're producing, then it makes economic sense to use that instead. And uh, I think you're seeing that occurring not just with our project in Oman and in California, but also in Saudi Arabia, where the nation there is uh, investing very heavily in renewables with the idea that if we consume less of our own product, it'll leave more for export and for future generations. What about the price of oil, though? How does that play into your equation? What's the financial equation that makes sense to do what you're doing? What does oil have to be priced at? The lower the better for us, in actual fact. When oil prices are high, it's all about increasing production. And lowering costs is less of a priority. But when oil prices are low, as they are now, all of the focus is on cost reduction. If you look at a typical heavy oil field, 60% of the operating cost is fuel purchase. Mm -hmm. Now, we can reduce the cost of delivering that energy to less than it would be if they burned the fuel itself. So the focus on cost reduction is actually very good for the deployment of solar in the oil and gas industry. How, big, how many deployments have you got out there of this type? We have uh, about 10 megawatts in production at the moment, but we'll have 1,000 megawatts. That's more than a gigawatt under construction right now. Hey, and, you know, I think, you know, back in 2012, you had Shell as one of your major investors. Talk to us about who is investing in you guys. Shell came in in our uh, second round of finance as a strategic investor. Most recently, we were brought in the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Oman. Uh, that's important, apart from the money, of course, which was nice, yeah. but it's important in the sense that uh, Oman is the leader in enhanced oil recovery, not only in the region, but globally. They're pushing the frontiers. They had less oil than their neighbors, so they had to face this question of declining production sooner than everybody else. So they've developed expertise that's unrivaled anywhere else. Um, and so that was our strategic partner, our strategic investor. That situation that you saw in Oman, where production peaked and went into decline, requiring more enhanced oil recovery and hence more energy consumption, mm -hmm. is repeating now around the globe. You're seeing uh, Bahrain announcing heavy oil projects, Kuwait uh, doing heavy oil projects, Saudi Arabia and Kuwait in the neutral zone doing heavy oil. And of course, in California, they've been doing heavy oil since the 1960s. So I think you'll see increasingly as more heavy oil comes online, uh, the energy demand of the industry uh, skyrocketing. Rod, historically, uh, developing solar in the desert has just been a crummy plan because the cost of washing the solar and, and the getting the water there sort of starts to make that uh, cost ineffective. What's your fix been? To give that some context, the project we're currently building in Oman covers three square kilometers. Two square kilometers of that is under glass. So keeping two square kilometers of glass wow, clean in the middle of nowhere is a major, <laughs> major challenge. Uh, if you have a person to clean something or to do any other task in the oil field, uh, he has, there's no city, so you have to put a porter cab in there for him. Uh, you have to provide food, water, doctors, right. air conditioning, send fuel in, in trucks. It's almost like a military operation. So the cost of maintenance or cleaning of these systems is very, very high. 